Hi everyone, it's Rachel Smith with Compass up in Big Bear. I have always loved, loved, loved this cabin driving by it and I just got done with a hike. I just saw that it got listed and we are gonna go check it out. So come with me. Okay, here we are at 640 Irving. Um, again, I drive by this one all the time. Super cute. I always adore a great A-frame. Um, but it's over in the Poets Corner neighborhood of Big Bear City. Um, so right down here past the stop sign, one more block, there's going to be a great hiking trail. I mean, the trees that are at the end of the road, that's basically where it's at. Uh, three miles, six miles, nine miles, basically whatever you want to do right underneath the high school. Um, so it's called Maple Hills. So quiet street. Uh, it looks like you've got maybe secondary homeowners, maybe primary over here. Um, they don't appear home right here, but you just never know. And I believe you have primary next door too. Um, so our property line is probably going to be somewhere around the fence. You've got some beautiful lilacs growing in. And then we've got basically just um, typical big bear yard, dirt, grass, gravel, just make it easy, low maintenance. And then over here, it appears like it's going to be where that wood fence meets the metal fence right here too. So just along this line right here. And in fact, look what I found, a property marker. Actually, a lock up. So good trade lot too. You've got lots of coverage, lots of shade on it. You've got squirrels out here. Ooh. Um, so one thing to note, the roof does look like it's a bit newer. Um, looks like it's in really, really good shape. The paint from what I've seen on the house so far is also in really good shape. And then, um, it looks like a newer deck was built recently um, with the pylons and the hardy big wood with the metal wrought iron features too. Let's see what's under here. Um, we got a hose that's on and it's spraying a little bit and that's open down there. So I will have to tell the agent about that. So here we are walking up. This has not ever been a rental from what I can tell. Um, it just looks like it's been a second home for many, many years. Deck is in really good shape, really firm, strong, not shaky or wobbly at all. The eaves are in really good shape. The color, I mean, the paint is in really good shape. I might change it if it were me, though. Um, all right. So here we are. I always love a great A-frame, especially when it has a good stairwell, too. Many times in these kind of homes, you do not get a good stairwell, and you have to have a uh, spiral staircase. So you do not on here. One thing to note you do have central heating. This is going to be the floor heater right here. Um, well, it might just be floor. So pause on that thought. Let me find another vent before I say that. Actually, look. Renter information to conform to the county short-term rental ordinance. So it does appear that at one point in time, they were using it as a short-term rental. Hmm. Wow. Could have fooled me. In fact, it did fool me. So, you could get a nice big couch in here. If it were me, I would probably uh, refloor the whole house, get rid of all the carpet, especially for rental, um, just because it's easier to clean, easier to maintain. You get a big stain on the carpet. Um, and then you got a back-to-back -back renter. That's not going to be fun. 
So here we go with the fireplace. Got a big uh, area for the heat to come out of. It does not have a gas starter, which is probably good for rental. You don't want your renters always having a key to the gas um, because therefore they would be able to leave it on as renters often do. Um, here's a good spot for firewood. But again, if it was not carpeted, it'd be a really good, easy um, spot with carpet. It just might get a little bit dirtier. Here we go with the dining area. And they have all, they these, have all little these little areas throughout the house where hmm, it looks like a little trap door of some sort. I don't really know what's going on there. Um, but a lot of storage throughout the house. So here we have seating for two. I like how they did that at an angle so that you can still get by and it's not super bulky. Um, these are for mica countertops. And then we've got linoleum flooring too. So super clean, very bright in here. Um, that is one thing that I was thinking about though, is like using, um, better lighting throughout the house. Um, just because it's not quite bright in some areas. So here we have like a little pots and pan area. All there. Storage. I like the original wood with the brass. Um, we've got a vent right here for the stove. And just a little tiny refrigerator, which is all you really need. So from here, we're going to go into, oh, it's kind of like a door. This is a door to the kitchen, but it's also a door to block that. So maybe just leave that open. So here we are, bathroom. Again, carpet in the bathroom. Let's just refloor the whole place. Um, it does have a heater in the bathroom. Um, so, so far, all I've seen is that floor heater and this heater, which is just kind of like a sectional heating. Um, in here, in the bathroom, we have wallpaper. We have the like, typical 1980s countertops. Um, you could probably get away with keeping those and just hand um, changing out maybe a new countertop and changing out the handles on it. Um, but really cute little place here. Little toilet, little shake shack, siding, maybe a tiny bathroom remodel. Um, this is very narrow. Um, we have a moth in there too, because it's moth season. Owner closet. You could probably just bring, I mean, you might bring it out to here. Um, and then next we're gonna go this would be more of the master bedroom. And so we've got on this side just a dresser and the wall paneling too. This room is kind of dark if you don't have that window or that door open uh, and you have the shades. So I mean for blackout sleeping it's awesome. Um, but I think I would put a little bit more lighting in here. So we've got some shelves, or not some shelves, but yeah, I guess a little closet here built out of the space on the sides of the A-frame. Um, and you've got about three or four closets. This is an old fireplace, uh, a likely not going to be an operational one because you wouldn't want to put a TV on it and it's not connected. So, but good size room. I mean, if you wanted to, you could get some bunk sets in here, um, or another bed this size too, which seems to be like a queen over here. We do have a wall heater. Um, so you're probably going to have, yeah, a thermostat right by the bed. 
So kind of like it's um, sectional heating. I'm going to take you outside afterwards too. Um, so with sectional heating, you can basically heat this room. You can heat that back room. You're just not heating the areas that you're not using at that time. And then this upstairs portion is probably just going to be heated um, based off of being upstairs by itself because it tends to get really, really warm on the upstairs. So it's good that they do have a door. So really this kind of is maybe the only layout that you would want to do in here is two twin beds. Otherwise you can have to block off that door. Um, super cute. And you've got carpet leading into linoleum. But out here is maybe what needed a little bit of work. This is deck. Um, just new wood. I'd have to check out underneath it how much, like if the post and beam needed any work. But this, this stuff too, you would want to have it to where kids can't just fall over and through that. Um, so let's next go out back and see what's back there. This is really cute walking down these stairs like this too. And it's nice that this is open to the kitchen. So again, you could get there from the front yard too. Um, I just chose to come through that back room. Yeah, a lot of that wood seems like it's not in the greatest shape. I would probably replace some of it. And, um, the, I mean, these posts holding it up seem like they're in good shape, though. So, just a little bit of love there. And we've got a nice little outdoor shed. Privacy wall on this side from this neighbor. Same on this side. Probably just put up a little privacy fence back here, but they don't look like they use their backyard, and they probably do. So, there we have it. 640 Irving. Two bed, one bath. Just hit the market for $299. Super cute.